Hi, this is Jindo. Welcome to Tree Leaf. I'm uh, kind of a guy who believes that sometimes the simplest solution to a problem is the best. And you don't need a complicated approach sometimes, even to deal with some really, really hard issues. And I'm talking about changing how we approach our lives. You know, if you go into a bookstore in the self-help section, you'll find volume after volume telling us how to be happier, how to be more peaceful. Well, I'm going to give you a solution that, uh, well, give it a try. What do you got to lose? And as I said yesterday, it's not really original to me at all. It's been recommended by many, many teachers. Thich Nhat Hanh, probably uh, the one who comes to mind the most for this recommendation. But we're going to change the seeds that we water and nurture within ourselves. And we're going to start small and try it a little bit every day and see what happens. It couldn't hurt. What do you got to lose? It couldn't hurt. So here's what I recommend we do. Just during your day, starting tomorrow, I'd like you to pick three times, just three times. You can do it more, but at least three times when you feel a, a negative emotion or a negative seed arising within you. If you feel a bit of resentment, if you feel a bit of fear, if you feel some anger, the first thing I'd like you to do is be mindful of it, notice it, and try to say to yourself objectively, this is my mind right now, watering and bringing to fruit a seed of fear or anger or jealousy. And then I'd like you just to try, just an experiment, to see if you can make the choice in that situation to summon the seed of whatever the opposite is. And say that now I'm going to instead, in this situation, in this circumstance, try to water and what's the opposite of jealousy generosity generosity towards the other person instead of anger a feeling of peace instead of fear a feeling of the absence of fear contentment are those the opposites hmm Good question. But I should have, the opposite of fear is to be fearless. So why don't we try it just three times during the day. And if it works, maybe next week we'll try it four times during the day. You know, I often recommend some very simple practices. For example, if you're in sometime during your life that you find a bit stressful or filled with uh, something you resist, do a bit of what I call insta zazen. Just do a bit of zazen right there, dropping thoughts of this and that, dropping all resistance. This is a, another simple practice, kind of similar to that. If you feel negative harmful seeds of motion rising in you, just very simply see if you can replace them with these other seeds. And please report to me, drop me a line, let me know how it's working for you. Again, sometimes the simplest medicine is the most powerful and the most effective. Shall we sit with that?